Hi guys, this is Jack with WP Fusion, and today we're going to be looking at using WP Fusion and Elementor to control access to content on our site. So here I have a website with a bunch of articles, and some of them I've put in this premium articles category. And what I want to do is to require someone to opt into our mailing list in Drip in order to read any articles in that category. So right now it hasn't been set up yet. This is all publicly accessible. What we're going to do is go into the WordPress admin, and we've got our categories list here. We'll edit the premium articles category. And we'll select restrict access to all posts. And we'll set the tag in drip that's required to be premium content opt-in. And then save the category. Now, if we refresh this article, we can see that the content has been removed and it's replaced by this message saying, please sign up to our mailing list first. Great. Now, how do we get them to sign up? Here I've created a pop-up in Elementor saying, sign up to our mailing list to unlock our library of premium articles. And on that pop-up, I have a sign-up form. So let's edit that. And in the Actions After Submit section, we can choose WP Fusion from the list. Expand it. And now we can set any tags to be applied in Drip when that form is submitted. So let's choose the same tag here, premium content opt-in. And then we'll also set the field mapping so that the email address and first name are synced over. Now when the form is submitted, the contact will be added to Drip and tagged. And finally, we're going to set up the targeting for this pop-up under display conditions. We will choose posts in category. And for one more thing, we'll set an advanced rule and say, hide it for logged in users. And also hide it if they already have the tag. page contents be unlocked, it has to be reloaded at least once. Since Elementor doesn't currently have an option for refreshing the page when a pop-up is submitted, we're going to set a redirect here and redirect them back to the article's landing page. And then just to confirm that they're opted in and the articles are unlocked, we're going to set up one more pop-up. This one says, thanks, all our premium articles are now available for you to enjoy. And for that one, for the targeting rules, add a condition. And we will set that to display on the articles page when the page is loaded. And we'll show it only if they have the premium content opt-in tag. We've got our article listing here. And now I'm going to click through to one of the premium articles. The pop-up is shown. I'll put in my name and email address, and click Sign Me Up. Now I'm redirected back to the Articles page, and the Thanks pop-up shows. And if we switch over to our Drip account and reload it, we can see the email address of the new subscriber. And if we open it up, we can see that they've been tagged as premium content opt-in. Even though they aren't a registered user on the site, WP Fusion has set a cookie so that the site is aware of their tags and drip. So if we dismiss this pop-up, we can now access all of the premium articles. And even if we leave the site and come back, WP Fusion will remember the person opted in. This is a pretty basic example of using tagging and drip to control access to content. It gets even more powerful when you're dealing with registered users, like on a membership or LMS site. For example, you could use WP Fusion to tag somebody when they pass a quiz, and then use that tag to trigger a pop-up in Elementor congratulating the student. Anyway, thanks for watching. To learn more about using Elementor with your favorite marketing automation system, check us out at wpfusion.com.